I spent about a third of my day in the kitchen, so I wanted to find some gadgets that made cooking a lot more efficient. So in today's video, I'm sharing 16 TikTok viral kitchen gadgets that are actually worth buying. These are not gimmicky. I will tell you some that I'm kind of iffy about and the ones that I love and the ones that I even refuse to buy in today's video, but let's get into it. The next item that I cannot live without in my kitchen is actually the Echo frame back there. So I love the Echo frame. I've talked about it before, but it basically is like a frame TV that you can put in your kitchen or absolutely anywhere. It even comes with a stand so you can like mount it on the wall. I didn't mount mine, but you can use it in a vertical horizontal orientation. It will play music for you. It will show you recipes. You can watch the news. You can do anything with it. So it really is just like, I'm Alexa. I don't want her to wake up, but that's really what it is. But it looks kind of like a frame TV. So you're able to display art kind of like I've done now in your kitchen while also having a tablet that is super versatile. This next gadget was something I thought was so stupid idiotic until I got it and I was mind blown. So this is a corn peeler. I make white chicken and chili once a week, once every two weeks. This is amazing. There's nothing better than fresh corn versus frozen. Obviously buy what you can afford, but this, Ugh, it peels the corn off the cob so well. It's glorious. It, doing it with a knife is such a pain. That's why I actually never used to buy fresh corn. I just get it frozen in a can because I could not be bothered. This is a beautiful job. I'll have B-roll of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, this is one of the gadgets that like I really didn't want to buy into, but when I did, I was actually pretty happy. This is a cheese grater from Ikea. They have these everywhere. They have them on Amazon. But basically what you do is you shove the cheese in right here. So you do need to cut the cheese first to fit in here, which is something that I don't like about a lot of gadgets because I'm like, okay, I still have to use a knife. Can I just do everything with a knife? Which I guess you could. I, if you shred cheese with a knife, Please, you're making life way too hard. But basically you get your cheese, you push it in and you just crank it like you'd crank down your window like 20 years ago and you're able to shred your cheese. So it has two different attachments. So it comes with this one installed and then it comes with the finer one. So this is great if you have like a little knob of cheese left and you wanna grate it instead of just like kind of like tossing it or giving it all to your dog. The latter is what I would normally end up doing. But this is great. It does require a little bit of hand strength. So they also always find that like grated cheese, it's always a lot more expensive and a lot of the times they have have like that corn starch or that potato starch in there to kind of like improve the longevity of it. And then like it doesn't melt super well. So I love to freshly grate my cheese when possible. And this does a great job of that. And speaking of soup, I have to talk to you about my immersion blender. So I got it from Amazon and I love a good immersion blender. Who doesn't, right? Because I have a Vitamix. I have the Vitamix. I bought the Viro Vitamix and I love it, but it's a pain to get out. And I make a lot of soup. Like one of my favorite soups to make is mushroom soup. I make it all of the time and I really just want to blend everything in the pots. So I really like my immersion blender. I got it from Amazon. It actually came recommended by a few of you down in the comments and literally just press the button, you turn it on and you can do everything in the pot as opposed to having to put it in the blender or put it in the Vitamix, do it, make sure you don't burn yourself and put it back in. I love that for me. It gets everything really nice and like well integrated, which I do appreciate. And I even have a KitchenAid and I will use this before my KitchenAid for a lot of things, probably more things than you're supposed to because I find the KitchenAid should be such a pain and it is unnecessarily heavy, but I'm not a baker, so I will say that. I swear by these trivets. So if you don't know what a trivet is, a trivet is basically something you put down so that you do not mess up your countertops or your table. So say you're, you know, you don't put anything into like a serving plate and you just wanna put it directly on the table. These trivets are awesome because they are condensable. So I believe you get like a set of four or six in the pack. I swear by these because they just fit in my utensil drawer. They take up no space at all. And then I just pop them open and they sit on the countertop and then you can put like a pot or a pan here and you're gonna make sure you're not overheating your countertop or your table and you're not burning anything. I love these. I love how easy they are to use. Like they're easy enough that I can do it with one hand. And again, I have to always, I always have to shout out something being like arthritis friendly. One, because I, a lot of you guys do have arthritis and you tell me that in the comments. And two, just to show you how easy it is. So if I can do it with one hand and this is um, my worst hand, that's how easy it is to kind of work with. So you can have a pot in hand, be like, oh, I forgot the trivet and still open this one up, which I do really, really like. Now I'm kind of, I'm kind of so-so on this gadget. I'm not going to pull out the whole thing. I'll just put B-roll here, but I got one of those choppers, you know, where you like chop it and it grates everything. And I do like mine. I do like mine. So it comes with like a mandolin attachment. Um, and there's so many different attachments that you can get. You can see them here. The reason why I don't sign off on this hundred percent is kind of like the cheese grater. You do have to cut it to get it in there like you can't just 
peel an onion and stick an onion in there. Um, you need too much force and there's not enough surface area for that. But if you're making a soup, so if I'm making a mirepoix, um, I will put everything in there, chop it up, and I'm able to like expedite the soup cooking process a lot because chopping just takes forever. And if you're one of those people who is tormented by the onion or by garlic, uh, this is great because it really speeds up the process and you're kind of good to go. So I'm kind of so-so on this. If again, you're making soups a lot, I'd say yes. If you're chopping the occasional onion, this is a gadget I'd actually probably skip out on. This is another gadget that honestly, it's kind of silly. It's kind of silly unless you're like a bread and butter eater, um, which my family is. So this is actually a butter container. And basically what you do is you set the butter on top of this and you push down and it will actually chop your butter for you. So you have like little pads of butter ready to go. So this is great if you're not necessarily cooking with butter, you just like want a portion already ready because I always used to have like a butter dish out of the counter, but the ants have like defeated my butter dish. So I actually really like this because of course it's more difficult to kind of like cut butter when it's cold, obviously, cause it's more firm. So this is pre-cut. So your kids can go in here, kind of get butter, keep it moving. Your husband, you, your wife, doesn't matter. Um, and it stores the butter in like a nice air tight container instead of just leaving it wrapped in that plastic it comes in, which I know a lot of us do. Something else that I got, which I do love, is the meter. So you've probably seen this all over TikTok. I've had it since before it went TikTok viral. And um, basically, this is a Bluetooth thermometer. You download an app on your phone and it will tell you the temperature of things. What I love is this works for like thick meat. So if you need to put something in the oven, if you are grilling, this is perfect. So it, it, the meat has to be thick though. That's the caveat. This is not for like your thinly sliced chicken that you're just terrified isn't cooked even though it's hit 165 30 minutes ago. This is for thicker pieces. So you have to go in at an angle if something is pretty thin. But this does a great job of assessing temperature and it has all the information in there on like what the correct temperature is um, for each different type of meat. Lots of good data in there. I do like the meter. Now for my thinner types of meat, because I'm a huge fan of like the thinly sliced chicken breast for Trader Joe's, I do have a favorite place to get chicken. What's your favorite place? The best place on the planet to get chicken is Gerber Farms. Best chicken on the planet, hands down. But if you know, you're just getting chicken from your local store and you're cooking it at home, whatever. This is also a really great meat thermometer. It's nice and red, it's compact. Um, um, it has all of like the normal settings. So it tells you for poultry, for ground meat, all done, medium, medium rare, all that there, this is easy. And now I do know when chicken's done, so I don't really need a thermometer all the time. But if you need something to just like double check for you, this is a great thermometer. I am obsessed with this next one. So this is like a bristle brush cleaner, but it's not one of those ones that will scratch everything. You know, the ones that they try to get you to get for your car and then you come home with a totally scratched car. Yeah, been there, hate that for us. So this is a bristle cleaner. I love to use this for the crevices. It in between my oven and my countertop because it gets so dirty and disgusting. Like that's what I clean before people come over. I'm like, let me clean this. This is what they're gonna look at. Meanwhile, they're not coming to my kitchen at all. But this does a wonderful job. I have one for the kitchen. I have one for the bathroom. I have one for like literally every room in the home because it does such a good job of getting like in those little crevices in a way that like a vacuum cleaner just cannot. I was never one to actually use gloves to wash my dishes because I always felt like they'd get like, they didn't do anything. I still need a sponge in my hand and I was like, so what's the point? So I love these because it has like the rubber scrubbing capabilities in there so I can get something clean just with these gloves on. And they're pink and I love it pink. I'm sure you've seen these before, which is why I want to talk about them to let you know if it's a gimmick or you should get it. And this is my plastic wrap dispenser. So what I love about this is you put your plastic wrap in here, you peel it out. And I'm gonna show you live so you can see how easy this is. No B-roll, no B-roll. And you literally just take this, you move it across, and then you have a perfectly cut sheet of plastic wrap. Plastic wrap is my arch nemesis because I literally always get it stuck to itself, but that doesn't happen when I cut it this way. I would end up wasting whole rolls and my grandmother would be like, just get out of the kitchen, Kiva, what are you doing? So I actually really love this. I'm going to reuse this for something because I don't need it. That's one thing I hate about the B-roll, right? Because sometimes things get wasted but this does a great job and it just sits in one of my drawers it fits in a standard door drawer and then I also do have it for aluminum foil and parchment paper so this is a dual one again you just put your aluminum foil on there and it has a serrated edge and then you can just kind of rip it off so it's able to sit in your counter and it's not one of those things that get lost because I used to find I used to put these things like down below because they didn't really fit anywhere in those big bulky boxes and then I would lose it and rebuy it and the serrated edge that comes on the box 
box just is not good enough. I hate to say it, but it is the truth. These ones are so much better. And along with these, and I will say all three of these items fit in the drawer, I do have the thing that organizes all of your different Ziploc bags. So mine is right here. You're gonna judge me, but mine doesn't actually do all my Ziploc bags. <laughs> I only use gallon Ziploc bags. I used to use more when I used to pack lunch for Babe more, but not as much these days. So I actually use them to organize my little drink packets because I am a Crystal Light aficionado and they just sit in here and I'm able to keep all of these things organized. And don't be afraid to buy organization items and use them for reasons other than their intended purpose. Because if it works for you, that means it's doing its job in whatever capacity that might be. I also have to show you this electric wine corker. So it comes with its own stand, another arthritis friendly item. This blew my mind. I thought this was not gonna be something good, but this blew my mind. Basically, you press up and down and it will pull the cork out and then it will put the cork back in and it's just charged via the stand that it comes with. So it just sits here kind of looking pretty and it charges and when it lights up blue, it is charging. But I am able to open a bottle of wine like that. I used to not drink, but I do drink red wine now just like for heart health and like to wind down but I mostly use it, more importantly, to cook. I love to cook with wine because I make like short ribs or something like that, and it is great for opening up a bottle of wine. And the last kitchen item I wanna talk about today is something you've heard me talk about before, but it's so good that I had to talk about it again. That is the tidy wrap, so you have seen it before, this is the exact same one, it says on the back of my Nespresso, and you're actually able to wrap the cord so that you don't have a bunch of cord taking up your countertop. You can attach it to your appliance, you can attach it to like your backsplash if you want to, but it's a great way to keep your cords organized without messing up the view, um, because you can see you can't really see that many cords in my kitchen, and that's because I use the tidy wrap. And I've used the exact same one since I made a video about it, I think a year ago. That's how good it is, and that's how sturdy it is. But that is it for today's video. Those were some Amazon gadgets that I feel feel I cannot live without in my kitchen. I think that they are absolutely wonderful and I think you are going to love them too. If you want to pick up anything I shared today, they are linked down in the description box and I've pinned them in my comments. But thank you so much for watching today's video and until next time, have a beautiful day.